Well, uh, hi, I am Maria Green, and I'm going to show you a journal page that is either background or you can use it as a finished page. I use 200 grams paper and a spiral bound um, book that I have, especially for my heavy duty mixed media pieces in my art journal. Here I'm spreading out a really heavy coat of water all over the surface. And uh, the wetter, the better. So go over it several times. And I'm using Crafts Paints. Uh, this would work very well with uh, high flow acrylics. I don't have any golden uh, high flow, so the craft paints will have to uh, do for me here. And you can see how they spread and start making uh, um, several patterns in the water. You can use as many colors as you like. I concentrate more in the middle here. The water takes a little while to start spreading the paint around, and uh, you can uh, wait till you have it the way you like it, and then bring out some 70% uh, alcohol that you can get at the drugstore. And I just spill it all over the uh, page from uh, above, uh, maybe 10 inches above the page. And you can see how the alcohol and the water makes an interesting pattern. Now I have puddles going. Sometimes the paint gets muddy. And I can uh, choose to uh, manipulate the paint if I like it. I'm just putting some paper towels down to protect the, the rest of the pages, basically. And you can see there's kind of muddy there at the top. So I had some other paper towel to soak up some of that. And that actually leaves pretty interesting patterns too. This can make for a really cool background with some um, text or see what forms uh, come out with the paint and enhance the form um, and see and use the rest as the background. Put on some more alcohol here, and I have been dabbing up some of the water. Then I decided to use dil I dilution dilution ink to make even more interesting pattern. Once work is enough, and that's almost it's like underworldly. Plants. And here's some purple one. And I spray from pretty high distance of the paper to make it more diffuse. Here I'm dabbing more of the liquid. And uh, I like the subtle uh, colors that comes from this uh, technique. You can be as creative as you want to. You could even put more alcohol on top of this. I kind of like the way it looks uh, right now. And here I have some Adirondack ink. It should mix well with the uh, alcohol on the page.
like really cool patterns. I'm soaking up some more wet areas. The water and the alcohol seem to move toward the middle. I just love the subtle look of it and uh, the colors. You can always choose the colors that you love. Um, thank you for watching. It's that simple. <laughs>